Upcoming week is finally here, and we've got all the highlights. From all the most popular dress-up days to the buzz around homecoming court. Stay tuned to catch it all. I'm Caleb. You know, I'm so excited about homecoming. My favorite part about homecoming is our spirit week with all the creative outfit everyone wears for the week. I know many students who love spirit week too. Let's send it out to Madison who asked students their favorite theme for this year. Homecoming is coming up October 14th through October 19th. Each day has a theme and today we'll be interviewing to see which theme is most excited. Homecoming theme I'm most excited for is dress up as your favorite celebrity. I think it would be really fun to dress up as your idol and yeah. Hi, my name is Zoe and my favorite homecoming theme is Freaky Friday because I really want to dress like my favorite teacher. Hi, my name is Eric and my favorite homecoming day is Freaky Friday because I want to dress up as Coach Ramsdale. So there you have it. Freaky Friday is the most excited thing. Make sure you go buy your tickets to beat at the homecoming day. Oh I'm already getting my outfit ready. Yeah, I feel the same way. Personally, I'm looking forward to Freaky Friday. Don't forget about homecoming week, dress up days. Monday is pants on fire. Put your white lie on a t-shirt. Tuesday is twin day. Wednesday is sports gear day and the parade in downtown Hiram. Thursday is favorite celeb. And Friday is Freaky Friday. Teacher student swap. The pep rally and the big game. But let's not forget the dance, and I wonder what everyone will dress like. Remember, the homecoming dance will be Saturday, October 19th at 6. Tickets are available till the 10th at $25. We're all excited about the events this week and celebrate our love for the school. We asked some of the peers what they love about Hiram. Check it out. Hi, my name is Shamar, and I'm here to ask people what their favorite part of the school year is so far. It's probably the class. My favorite really? part of the school year is part of the football games. Even though we are losing, we can still win. Call Hornets! Go. Hi, my name is Arian, and my favorite part of the school year is being safe, welcome, and long. I used to go to this old school named Bertha High. I didn't feel safe there. I was mainly bullied almost all the time as a freshman year, but this is a true year. I feel welcome, deserved, and it's pretty cool here. I like Iron Man. Wow, they're really are so many things to love about Hiram. Caleb, what's your favorite thing about our school? Honestly, it's the culture. I mean, I just moved here, so. And, but it's great to hear that many things about Hiram has to speak about homecoming. But well, for one, it's got to be someone who's involved, represents Hiram's spirit, whether it's sports, clubs, or volunteering. A nominee should really embody what it means to be a Hornet. Let's go to Scotty with more. I'm Scotty, a part of the Hornet Nation News, and today I wanted to ask, how does it feel to be a part of the homecoming court and why did you run? What grade are you in and what's your name? Cyan and I'm in 12th grade. Jocelyn Gray, I'm a sophomore. Why did you run for the homecoming court? I didn't have the confidence last year, but I did this year, so I ran. How does it feel to be a homecoming court nominee? It feels good. I feel like it gives me a chance to run for something that happened during high school. Interesting, and those some good reasons too. Exactly, but let's not forget, one of those nominees has to know how to have fun. They've shown they have great balance between getting active in school and also knowing how to chill or skateboard. Let's go to Patrick to show us how to perform an ollie on a skateboard. Watch as he breaks down the the steps and shares his passion for skateboarding. Try this at your own risk, and don't have your parents sue us if you get hurt. But ways to know, Patrick shows us your moves. There's a ton of people who skateboarded at Hiram, but do you know how to ollie? They didn't think so. This guy, Mike, he's gonna show us how. It, it's actually pretty simple. All you have to do is bend, pop, and then flip. Too fast, right? Let's uh, slow it down. Bend your knees, pop the tail, flip the foot up, and land. Pretty easy, right? Nope. This takes a bunch of practice, and you're obviously gonna fail a couple times. 
But all you gotta do is just keep trying, and eventually, you'll land it. We hope you enjoyed oh, wait, watching oh, Hornet, Hornet Nation, Nation News. news.